Okay, another tech edu tips video. I've been using Hypothesis for quite a few years here, and um, lately I've been using it more in my classes. And maybe it's with the um, teaching online and pandemic mode of teaching, but I'm really enjoying it. It's working well with my students. So, if you hadn't heard about Hypothesis, go to hypothesis.is, um, and then you might want to click into Get Started. And then there's the link for creating your free account. There is a Chrome extension. I'm using Chrome right now. It's technically Brave browser that I'm using. You can tell by this icon. And then I've got the extension installed. Um, I'm a fan of um, pinning these extensions so I can see them. I use LastPass and Hypothesis a lot. If you're on Firefox, you'll want to make a bookmarklet. So what that is, is you want to drag it up into your bookmarks like that. So I have a bookmarklet that I use for Flickr attribution. I got a video about that. And then I could use it as a bookmarklet here in in Firefox. So I was using Firefox. I could use it in Chrome, I guess, but in Chrome we do have an extension. So that's that. And then I'll just give me a, a view of, I recommend using Chrome for this because of the extension, but also because if you open a PDF, like I sent this PDF of No Silver Bullet to my students, um, so that we could mark it up and talk about it. And you can see that there's the hypothesis tells me there's 87 annotations I could view. And if I click on that, then I go into a mode where I have hypothesis running and I can see the public annotations. Another cool thing that I love for teaching is I create different private groups. And I'm not going to open these because I don't want to show the private messages or the private annotations in those private groups. But I have different private groups that I'm a member of. Say Augment 1 was actually a course I took with Howard Rheingold. So I'm pretty sure we're not going to see any annotations in that group. But I could, if I wanted to, select a piece of text and then hit annotate. Again, highlight, or I could hit annotate. And now when I go to annotate, I could choose, do I want this to be shared with this group of people in this Augment 1 group? Or I could just make a private one. Um, of course, I could jump into a different one. Uh, I'm going to guess there's nothing there. And I could share in that group instead. So this allows uh, students to um, collaborate on highlighting, putting notes in the margins. You can reply to someone else's uh, comment or annotation. Really good interaction that I've had with my students using this on PDF papers, but also um, web pages that are just random web pages of reading on the internet and, and there's 105 annotations I can view on this. I've actually done exercises with two different classes and so the, the, the pickup was good. The students liked it. Um, uh, I found this is a good way to really engage them into reading and discussing something together as a group. Um, allows for breakout room type activities, but it also um, enables asynchronous mode. So there's students that are doing this in their own time outside of the class meeting time. And I think that's a very important and powerful tool as well. So that's Hypothesis. I hope you like it and uh, check out the community. It's a very vibrant community that is using Hypothesis in education. And that's it for today's video.